Ellen DeGeneres has worked in the entertainment industry for more than 30 years. But the public persona we see when the cameras are rolling may not be who this multi-talented performer truly is behind the scenes. Here's why Ellen is nothing like she seems. DeGeneres can act, host, and crack a hilarious joke with the best of them. But if you ever meet her in person, don't ask her to dance. In her 2018 Netflix stand-up special Relatable, she revealed that she's come to regret ever performing her quirky choreography on her talk show. I'm not a dancer. I just danced as a joke. And then I danced the second day to good, and then the third day, and then I was locked in. I was the dancer. DeGeneres eventually found a way to phase out the dancing from her show, but she's admitted that fans still ask her to bust a move during chance encounters. Whenever they see me anywhere, they're like, dance, Ellen, dance! <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting a mammogram. I can't move right now. While hosting a family-friendly daytime talk show, DeGeneres has understandably had to watch what she says to avoid offending viewers or upsetting her sponsors. That self-censorship obviously includes avoiding profanity. But there's been times where she hasn't been able to completely bite her tongue. DeGeneres once confessed on her talk show that she used every curse word that you can think of and even invented three new ones after a 2017 mishap. It happened when she enjoyed two glasses of wine and then fell into a door and had to have her dislocated finger snap back into place at the hospital. While you'll have to use your imagination to figure out what particular word she used in that case, you can actually witness her swearing on stage in her Relatable special. Here's what she had to say about Holmes with shoes off policies. I gotta get the f out of here. If there's anyone in Hollywood who isn't fond of Ellen DeGeneres, it might just be the people behind her quips and scripts. Around the time of the 2007 Writers Guild strike, a former writer's assistant from the short-lived sitcom The Ellen Show anonymously claimed in a since-deleted blog post that the comedian didn't treat her writers very kindly. As the assistant put it, we'd watch Ellen in rehearsals, smiling and winning us over with her charm and comic timing. Then the director would yell cut, her face would fall, and she'd level a glare at the writers. It was also reported by Deadline during the time of the 2007 strike that many members of the Writers Guild of America East were disappointed when DeGeneres appeared to cross the picket line and continued to tape her talk show amidst the strike. For her part, the host explained on her show at the time, I support the writers and hope that they get everything they're asking for. And I hope it works out soon. Although it may seem like every celebrity in Hollywood is a fan of Ellen DeGeneres, there are some who just can't stand her. And when it comes to her beef with fellow comedian Kathy Griffin, things eventually got so nasty that the two found themselves in a full-on feud. In her 2016 book, Kathy Griffin's Celebrity Run-Ins, My A to Z Index, Griffin revealed, I'm almost positive a certain beloved daytime talk show host once had me kicked out of a backstage dressing room at the Emmy Awards. I can't prove it, but this person, who has short blonde hair, has a mean streak that all of Hollywood knows about. Griffin later told Access Hollywood how DeGeneres felt about the whole situation. She was furious. <gasps> For her part, DeGeneres previously told W Magazine in 2007, I know Griffin had a big thing about wanting to be on the show, and we didn't book her. She did a whole thing that I banned her from the show. I didn't ban her from the show because first you have to be on the show to be banned. The fact that DeGeneres makes a lot of money isn't shocking since she is a celebrity after all. But considering that she's not known for a lavish lifestyle, it might be surprising to learn just how wealthy she is. While she tends to wear simple blazers and casual sneakers on her show, her unpretentious wardrobe hasn't necessarily reflected her fortune. Thanks to her hosting gig, her Netflix special, production work and licensing fees, as well as her habit of buying and selling luxury properties, Forbes reported that DeGeneres is worth an estimated $330 million. That put her at number 63 on their list of America's self-made women 2019. She reportedly brought in $87 million during 2018 alone. While discussing the topic of wealth on her show, DeGeneres noted, "...you shouldn't live your life in fear of money because you're going to manifest that." And while Ellen DeGeneres doesn't flaunt her wealth, it's plenty clear that she's not afraid of it. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.